Hello friends and welcome to a new video. My name is Nikon and every week on this channel we talk about video production, filmmaking, acting, DaVinci Resolve and how to be more productive, more consistent and more efficient making videos for YouTube. Yes, efficient. That's why today I'm going to teach you the easiest way of creating proxies in DaVinci Resolve 18 in case your computer is slow or the files are enormous and you need a smoother playback. Let's go. You see, now this is the original media. We know that because uh, there is not uh, the camera and the film strip is not there. So this is the original media. So in case you don't want to use uh, the Blackmagic proxy generator, you don't want to use it for any reason or maybe you don't have it, no problem. Go here on this file, uh, select the other file, uh, right click with the mouse and go to, guess what? Generate proxy media, boom. Generating proxy media, okay. Now it's working and let me show you actually where uh, these uh, proxies uh, went. So if I go there now uh, to my finder, find a window, I keep my proxies on my desktop. You see project media, boom, here they are. And you can see here 334 gigabytes for this um, a proxy and for this one is uh, 331. But if you want to know more about the proxies, go to master settings, uh, go to optimized media and render cache and uh, go here you see proxy media format is prores 422 hq Ooh, that's a good format uh, but actually it's quite heavy i mean it depends what sort of computer do you have uh these settings are here automatically because i'm having a m2 max computer m2 so obviously it's a powerful machine so that's why um davinci resolve automatically chose uh, the best options for me but h264 it's more than enough for anybody. There is actually one more uh, way to um, do proxies and it's the proxies that are doing in camera. So let's assume you are like me, you are creating the proxies whilst you are filming on your camera. Some cameras do that like my Canon R5C, it does that uh, for you. So let's say you have already a folder with the proxies and then you go to DaVinci Resolve and you want to um, link uh, the proxies straight away in DaVinci Resolve with the original media. It's very easy to do. Let me show you how it's done. So uh, go here to your clip or to two clips, depends on how many you have. So let me say, let me uh, choose these two clips, all right? Um, click uh, on the right, right click of your mouse and do relink proxy media. And when I'm doing that, you see, I'm not going into my desktop. I'm not going to into my raw clips originals where we made the proxy video, but I'm going to go to the original um, media folder where I created the proxies in camera. So I'm going to go to to the project over here, Ators in raw. I'm going to go to raw clips eight or I'm going to go to proxies and you can see here I've got a lot of proxies because all these proxies are from the camera. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do open. Boom. Straight away it found me the proxies. So go to proxy handling. I choose prefer proxies. Boom. Here it is. And now I've got the proxies. Um, so yeah, uh, basically this is a uh, this is it. This is all about proxies. And this is it, guys. This is such a great way of creating proxies and how to deal with them. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's by far the easiest way of dealing with proxies. Um, as I know, uh, Final Cut Pro, it's a mess. Uh, Premiere Pro, I've heard that it's quite tricky to do uh, proxies there, but DaVinci Resolve it's so, so easy. It's great. Friends, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. And if you did, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even more cool features and cool videos like that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and happy creation. Bye-bye.